Uh, next item, Madam Secretary. Next, we'll move to the regular agenda. The first item is consider a resolution condemning the murder of Ger George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and many others, affirming the right to peacefully protest and recognizing that Black Lives Matter. Making the presentation this evening is Councilmember Candace Quarles. So I'll jump right into it of reading the resolution. Whereas the death of George Floyd is a national tragedy that has reminded the world that we do not live in a post-racial society and that systemic racism continues to shape the lives of black and brown people in the United States through the tragedy of Mr. Floyd's death is far from unique and draws parallels to others who have suffered and continue to suffer similar attacks under the cloak of legal authority. And whereas from slavery to Jim Crow laws to modern criminal justice system, black people in this country have been brutalized and dehumanized for centuries. And whereas the struggles of black people have been highlighted, most recently by alarming findings that black Americans, <laughs> that black Americans are dying from COVID-19 at a much higher rate compared to white Americans due to systemic structural racism. And whereas in the 21st century, black people in, American, in America continue to live in fear of losing their hands at the lives, at losing their lives at the hands of law enforcement or members of white supremacist groups. And whereas the DeSoto Texas City Council unequivocally denounces police brutality, racism, and calls upon all DeSoto residents, Texans, and Americans to do the same by actively engaging in tough conversations that lead us to examine our prejudices and preconceived notions about race and privilege. Whereas reforming society so that just so that justice is a reality for all people, regardless of race, class, or immigration status, does not happen without meaningful and intentional work. And the calling to pursue justice remains ongoing. Whereas this city council swore an oath to uphold the constitutions of the state of Texas and the United States of America, including the Bill of Rights and the First Amendment to the United States, which protects the right to peacefully protest a foundational principle of American life. And whereas on February 23rd, 2020, America witnessed the shooting and killing of 14 year old uh, of Ahmaud Aubrey, an unarmed black man going for a jog by two white men in Glen County, Georgia. And whereas on March 13th, 2020, 26 year old emergency medical worker Brianna Taylor was shot and killed by police inside her home after a no knock raid. And whereas on May 27th, 46 year old father of two, George Floyd pleaded for his life and was ultimately killed, handcuffed, and on the ground while a police officer pushed his neck into his throat for over eight minutes. And whereas these acts of racism and death continue to plague our great country despite many pleas for change. And whereas during this time when communities across the nation, including our own, have chosen to exercise their First Amendment right of free speech, peaceful assembly to petition the government for redress for their grievances. We call upon law, all law enforcement agencies to facilitate that exercise, not to inhibit or retaliate against it. And whereas our community is safer when law enforcement does not engage with peaceful protest using tactics that escalate conflict and is safer when people exercise their constitutional right to protest and are not treated as threats, and are not subjected to military grade equipment during peaceful protests of systematic racism. Whereas we do not condone or excuse the destruction of property, of property and we explicitly condemn attacks against the physical person of any law enforcement officer and any person exercising his or her constitutional rights. Whereas community Community safety is an organic, collaborative process that requires mutual trust and mutual respect, both of which can be developed and maintained only with openness, accountability, and transparency as a unified community. Whereas Black Lives Matter, I'll say it again, whereas Black Lives Matter, now therefore it be resolved by the DeSoto City Council 
that systemic racism that causes police brutality be explicitly and unequivocally condemned today, tomorrow, and forevermore within the city of DeSoto, within the county of Dallas, and within the state of Texas. And we implore law enforcement, especially local law enforcement, to ensure that the constitutional rights of peaceful protests continue unimpeded as intended when our nation was founded. In witness thereof, I have set my hand and seal and caused the seal of the city of DeSoto, Texas, and affixed this to the 16th day of June, 2020. And here I have um, the signatures and support of every single member of this DeSoto Council. And, and before I make the motion, um, since this is a formal item on the agenda, I'm going to have Pastor Phelps come because he is going to give remarks. And as I'm giving this as a commitment to community. So council, I'll start with, I move that we approve this resolution as read and presented. Thank you. So Mr. Uh, Pastor Phelps, uh, the Church of the Disciple, I would like to present this to you as a member of community if you want to come and take this. And then uh, council made copies for each one of you, so you can also have a copy. And I believe we all, uh, I have no doubt of the people standing with us today that this is not uh, something we'll see to fruition, along with all of the many things that were talked about earlier uh, with some of the um, policing and some of the policy changes that are coming forth. But this is an initial commitment to our community of the changes we plan to make. So with this. Thank you, Madam Mayor, City Council. Since 1619, blacks in America have suffered state-sanctioned violence that has, like our current pandemic, been taking our breath away. Just as long, blacks in America have fought against injustice in varying ways through faith, politics, advocacy, enterprise, and the arts. It is an unfortunate reality that it must be proclaimed that black lives matter. But it remains of utmost importance that black lives matter rings until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness as an ever flowing stream. Proclaiming it, resolving it, living it pushes us toward a more perfect union until the lives of black women, the lives of black men, the lives of black children, the lives of black LGBTQIA+, the lives of black artists, writers, teachers, students, and the like, until all black lives matter, we can never be one nation. All lives won't matter until the oppressed ones do. May it be so that one day black lives will matter through every protest, every zealot, every meeting, every city hall meeting, every concert, every religious experience or town hall. Until it is so, keep us in the path, we pray. God bless you and thank you. First and foremost, I want to thank uh, Councilwoman Quarles for uh, providing the leadership and putting this together. And as you can see, the entire council is standing uh, in support of this resolution. I would like to present mine to Chief Costa. And Mayor Pro Tem, I would ask that you present yours to our city manager, Brandon Wright, because as you could tell last Tuesday night, um, our city is working toward unification and that is what I know uh, the chief represented at the meeting last week. The, count, uh, the city manager expressed it in his remarks, and you certainly heard mine. But we are committed to continuing to move this city forward together. So thank you, council. Thank you.
Thanks, everybody. Um, I'm about to get emotional. But I love this city, and I love all of you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Oh. Um, Madam Secretary, will you please announce the next.